New developments tonight in a case that left a Wapiton woman dead last year. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stacy Van Dyke. And I'm Justin Betty. Today, Chad Olson, the man accused of killing the 20 year old woman in a hit and run crash in Wapiton, pleaded not guilty to the two charges against him. Valley News team's Anna Ballweber was in the packed courtroom today and joins us now live with more. Anna. Stacy, Justin, that's right. 52 year old Chad Olson pleaded not guilty today to the charges of criminal vehicular homicide and to the duty and accident involving death charged against him. In court today, it was brought to light that Chad Olson admitted he knew he was in, involved in some sort of crash, but thought he either hit a mailbox or a dog. Olson told investigators that he thought he might have fallen asleep and admitted that he had been drinking earlier that day, later testing to have a blood alcohol content of 0.110. On the night of Thursday, October 12th, Wapiton police responded to a crash in the 400 block of 11th Avenue South. A witness told police that they were walking along the shoulder of the road while Olson hit the other person walking before driving off. That crash ultimately killed 20 year old Bailey Bernstein of Wapiton, who died two days later in the hospital. Many people in the courtroom today wore a sweatshirt in Bailey's memory. A GoFundMe for Bailey's family has raised over $14,000. It took investigators three hours to find Olson. In the initial interview, Olson told investigators he didn't stop because he was scared. It was also noted that Olson's girlfriend saw details about the crash on the news and asked Chad if, he was, if the driver was him. Chad had some no noticeable damage to the front of his truck. Stacy, Dustin. All right, thanks so much, Anna. Olson's defense is arguing the North Dakota code is that a pedestrian must use the sidewalk when it's provided, and the pedestrian must yield to a vehicle as the vehicle has the right of way. It was noted in court today, however, Bailey was walking at least five feet from the grass line, and that Olson was driving 25 miles per hour over mm -hmm. the speed limit.